everybody. Welcome to Elder Lifestyle. I am Temito Kwefesobi. And today, we are going to be wrapping up our story on immune boosters. Yes, we'll be talking about a lot of things about immune boosters. And the truth is we can never exhaust these immune boosters because almost all the fruits and vegetables that we have out there, they are immune boosters. Today, I'm going to be talking to us about some things that we neglect, that we just take our eyes off and think that they are not necessary. Those things are very necessary and they are part of the things that would even help the fruits and the vegetables that we have eaten to help it to work better in our body. One of them is rest. Resting. And you'll be wondering, resting. What is resting? You can sleep and you can rest. There are times that you'll be in the office and you're just a little tired. Just closing your eyes for five minutes and doing nothing. Even if you're not sleeping, just close your eyes. Close your eyes and just relax your brain. Just let your brain go blank for, for like five minutes and don't think about anything. It will help to relax your brain and it will help your immunity to be boosted. And then sleeping helps us to boost our immunity more because when we are resting, that is when our metabolism works better. All the food we eat, all the drugs we take, you know, when you go to the hospital, you take some drugs. The major reason why we are given sleeping pills is because they want, the doctors want us to sleep so that the, the drugs that they've given can work better. The fruits, if they're giving us, telling us we're going to take some fruits and vegetables and eat something, all everything they've given to us can work better. So if you are not like, oh, I don't want to go to the hospital, I want to just be at home and be rest and be doing my thing and taking care of myself at home, then I'll advise you to sleep because sleeping is good. For children, they can sleep for more than eight hours in a day. For adults, eight hours is the recommended time for you to sleep in a day. For instance, the kind of work I do, I don't like sleeping at night, but during the day, I realize that I feel a bit tired and I sleep. Some people work better at night. Their brain works faster and, you know, like that in the night because they can't really sleep at that time. So I would advise that you would create time to sleep and to rest. Yes, there are some people that are workaholic that they cannot sleep. I would advise you, take time to sleep and rest. It will help to boost your immunity against infectious diseases. Another thing that can help also to boost our immunity that we have neglected is relationships, friendships, having trusted friends. I said trusted friends because it's not everybody that is trustworthy. It's not everybody that you can gist with. It's not everybody that you can play with. So you have to look for your own type of friends. Because there are some people you will talk to about something that is wrong with you. And then the old, before you know it, the whole world has heard. And then you now become more depressed. When you have trusted friends, you, they can take you out to play, you know, to do different things. And... You know what, one thing I realize is most of the time we take a lot of things inside and we don't allow anything to let, we don't let go of things. We just get like, okay, for instance, someone lose a family member, a family member or the job, you know, the, the, the business goes bankrupt. And I just wonder, you get so tired and like, Oh, and you just get depressed. And I'll say, so what? And if I will let you know, I've lost a lot of money. My business has gone bankrupt many times. Yes, it's not easy to just hold up high and then keep up the smile. But I realize that the best thing is to keep up that smile. I won't say don't be offended, don't be emotional. If you're emotional, cry rather than just holding it up to yourself and just because crying also helps to relieve your tense top emotions. Because when you are too sad, your emotion your, your immunity becomes low. 
I'm still researching on that. I know that some, you know, some medical practitioners have researched on that. So I'm still studying and looking for reasons why when you're happy, your immune system becomes so you know, active. So you need to look at, another thing is looking at the bright side of life. Be optimistic and be happy. You know what? Laughter do it good more than medicine. Laugh. Another immune booster is laughing. Laughing. Yes, laughing. Laughing can boost your immunity in so, so well, so much. And it can heal up some pain, some pains. You need to learn to laugh. Someone cracks a joke, laugh. You see something funny, laugh. And you know that laughing relaxes the muscles of our face. It makes us to, to age slowly. Laughing. Laughing. You know, all the things I'm talking to us about today are things that we just feel that is not so important, but they are very, very important. We need to spend time to laugh to play, playing with people, laughing, doing a lot of things that will just make us happy. The world is not going to end because you just lost your job or you just lost somebody. By the way, I've lost people that are very dear to me. And I'm still alive. So what do I do? I'm happy. That's why you need to be excited about life. Look at what you can do to, to help others. When you're making other people happy, you're making yourself happy. So think of what you can do to make others happy. Because when somebody is laughing, you too, before you know it, laughter is contagious. You start laughing. That's just the simple truth. And it will help our immune system. It will help our immune system to work well. Another thing is, instead of using glutamate season, we use herbs, spices and herbs for our food. When we want to eat, we eat spices and herbs. You know, you, we use our, our, our spices and herbs to make our food. When we use spices and herbs to make our food, it's better for us because it will help to heal up anything that is, you know, any cells that is dead. And it will make us, our immune system to be alive and well. Another thing that we neglect a lot, and most people don't even do it, because they will say, oh, I don't need it. See, I'm so slim. I don't need it. That's exercise. Exercising your body. Whether you are fat, you are slim, you need exercises. You need to sweat. You know, there are times when you sweat, you feel excited. Like when I'm exercising my body, before you know it, you are laughing. You, are, you know, the seriousness in you, you just realize that it melts off and your body is just agile, active and your immune system is boosted. And you won't fall sick easily because you are doing exercises. Exercises can help. Even at times that you feel like you have some pains in your body. If by the time you're exercising that part of the body, you will realize that the pain will go down. It has been proven several times. And I, I can testify to it that it, it, it works. It's positive. When you're having lower back pain and you do some exercises to help that to help your your spine you realize that the pain will go and you wonder how how come it's because exercises helps to boost the immune system and it helps our body to be flexible the joints will be able to move properly you'll be able to walk well you'll be able to think straight Another thing, 
that we need to do. Another immune booster is saying no to smoking. Yes. But do you know that it's not everybody that holds a cigarette that smokes? There are some things that we do, that we use, some fuels we use in our homes that makes us to smoke. Like kerosene. When you're using kerosene stove, you are smoking. When you are sitting down beside a smoker, you are, you are smoking. And all those things can reduce our immune system and make us to fall ill. Staying where there is an exhaust pipe or the fumes from the exhaust, fume from the gen, all those things can affect our immune system. So we need to say no to smoking. Both indoor smoking and outdoor smoking, we need to say no to them because they are killers of our immune system. Finally today, I'm going to be talking about the last immune booster, what we can do to boost our immunity again. Saying no to alcohol. Yes. Alcohol can destroy our immune system seriously. It can make our immune system to be so weak that we will become sick. So, say no to immune to alcohol. So that our immune system can be strong. We have talked a lot about immune boosters. We've talked about the fruits, the vegetables. We've talked about so many fruits and vegetables. And we can never exhaust the fruits and vegetables and the herbs that we have because they are so much. With this, till we meet again, I'm saying stay LD, live LD, eat LD, and be LD. Bye. See you later. Bye-bye.